Hi guys, uh, this is Adrian, and today I want to uh, share with you some of uh, uh, one thing that uh, car owners, regardless what kind of car you own, uh, you would face one challenge if you don't get this right. And whatever it is, cockroach. <laughs> so I want to share uh, my experience with cockroach. So uh, I'm as you've seen in the previous video, I own a Proton Iris. The problem with Pro Proton Iris is that the gap between the doors are a bit huge. So chances are for cockroach to you know go into your car is quite uh, huge because some of the reason here, uh, cockroach is a uh, insect that looks for shelter, right? And they will go anywhere to find food, water, and you know, the best temperature. Uh, you know, before I understand how cockroach would spread, I, I kind of like, um, I kind of like, um, you know, when I see one, I just hit this. It's very reactive. Uh, but uh, in the recent months, I've been you know searching for solutions, and one of it is to understand how why they even come into the car first at the first place so you know once i discover that we stop eating in car that's rule number one secondly to clean and vacuum your car every week make sure that your car is absolutely clean so and then i went to the web and search for some of the uh, solutions and i come to know about this yes this is a cockroach you know, trap that you can buy in Daiso for 590 ringgit. And what does it do? It creates a home and sticks them without putting any trap. So what you need to do, you just take out the, you know, the paper, create a house like this, and then put in your car. What you know, after you know a month, what I'm about to show you is what this thing did. Now, I don't want you to 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 I don't want to open this. I'm gonna throw this after this. But you, as you can see, there's one big you know cockroach. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's one big one. Let's just leave it there still moving I mean you can see small small cockroaches the small tiny one they like dark places so this thing you know place it under your seat or place it at the back of the boot if you're driving an, you know, a iris, put it in the back of your boot uh, cockroaches like to be in the dark and uh, you know uh, humid air humid and that's where they stay uh, in the morning and they will come out at the night to find food right so place that there and you would if you would definitely see cockroaches stick by there so uh, once again uh, I hope you uh, uh, learn something today uh, I hope this helps you in uh, cleaning your car's cockroach oh yeah by the way uh, one of the uh, tips also you might want to do is because my car is shaded most of the time when I go work it's shaded when I put back home you know this place is shaded right so um, what people do advise is to put your car under the sun so that the heat will force them either to die or to force them out of the car because it's not a place for them. It's not a habitat for cockroaches. So hopefully not long live the cockroaches. Um, and yeah, I uh, hope this video helps. Uh, if it helps, give a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you have any questions or you have better solution on how to do with cockroaches in your car, um, you know, put them down the link below so that you, you can share with anyone who watches this video. So until then, to my next video, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye for now and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.